Hey guys, I'm really excited to be doing this video today. I'm doing a drugstore slash birthday haul. Um, last weekend was my birthday and today is my sister's birthday. Last night we had a birthday party at a hotel and so I got back this morning, just threw my hair in a headband and I was super excited to film this video. Um, so I'm going to get right into it. Um, a lot of these products are stuff I got with birthday money this past week and also um, some of these things are gifts I got from friends and family. Um, so let's get right into the haul. I'm going to start off with um, the things that I got at Target. I got a lot of e.l.f. products. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is the e.l.f. High Definition Powder. I believe this was $3. Um, I'm horrible at remembering prices. But I love it. It works really well. Um, I have nothing bad to say about it. It's like a great translucent, translucent powder that keeps your face matte. The only thing is this packaging. Um, you're going to lose a lot of product because this powder flies everywhere. It's so fine and there's like no um, guard in it that can keep it sealed. So that's the one thing I would recommend e.l.f. needs to change this packaging or you're going to be losing a lot of your money's worth. Um, but I like it. Um, next thing I got is the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer. I know this is all the rave on YouTube. Um, I think it was like three bucks. Um, this reminds me a lot of NARS packaging. I've never owned a NARS product, um, but I have tried them out at Sephora and stuff. Um, and I absolutely love it. Like, it is so sleek. It's so professional. It's a nice weight, and it just, like, closes, and it's a really nice compact product. I absolutely love it. Um, e.l.f. should, like, keep this format for all their other blushes and stuff because it's absolutely wonderful. Um, I love the mirror, and the product is wonderful. If you have fair to medium skin, it works perfect. Gorgeous little peachy blush, and a great, like, medium brown bronzer. They both have a little bit of shimmer in it, um, but I don't really mind that. So I would definitely recommend you guys get your hands on things. These are really affordable and actually great products. So yay. Next thing um, is probably my least favorite thing that I got. It's the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Concealer. I ran out of my favorite concealer and I wanted to try something new. So I picked up this. Um, the first thing I noticed it smells like cheap lip gloss. It is, it's kind of gross. It smells like Fruit Loops and super cheaply manuf manufactured lip gloss. Um, this is a face product. You do not want your face products to be scented. It's unprofessional, it's sloppy, can irritate your skin, and I just don't prefer it, especially, especially the smell. I do not want my face to smell like cheap Fruit Loops. So I'm really disappointed with that. Um, but it does work. It does cover up my under eye circles. Um, pretty well. Um, my color is apricot beige. If you guys are willing to try it out, um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna go back to this. I really dislike the smell, but it works for now. Um, next thing I got from Elf is the Elf Smudge Proof Liquid Eyeliner in black. Um, I really love this. It was only a dollar. The only thing I don't like about it is that it is a little brush tip applicator. I prefer the sponge ones, but you know. That's just my preference. I put swatches on my hand and you can rub it. It doesn't go anywhere. It's a nice true black line and it literally is smudge proof. I've ran this underwater and I even scrubbed it and it was hard to come off. So this almost acts as a waterproof eyeliner, which I love. So for a dollar, this is a really great eyeliner. Um, next thing I got from e.l.f., which is the last thing from e.l.f., is the Mineral Infused Primer. Um, I ran out of my Revlon Photo Ready. I wanted to try a lot of e.l.f. products to see if they could live up to the claims of some higher-end drugstore stuff. Um, so this is like 3 to 6 bucks. Revlon is 12 to 14 This is outstanding, you guys. It's a clear primer, which I don't really mind. Um, you put it on, it's nice and soft. And it leaves your skin feeling smooth and matte and it fills in your pores and it works just as well in my opinion if not better than the Revlon and I love it like yeah my skin feels soft and normal and it doesn't feel kind of greasy and weird like the Revlon can do outstanding job elf outstanding job okay next I got two mascaras um, they're both Maybelline one is Maybelline falsies and the Maybelline one by one I love Maybelline mascaras. I usually don't have to test them out before I buy them. I'm not really picky on mascara. I just like um, really volumizing um, 
I do like chunky mascaras. I'm not going to lie. That's my preference. Um, so I've used this one so far. I like it. And then this is the falsies. I still have it in the packaging. So I like that. If you guys like really volumizing um, a little bit clumpier mascaras, um, you would like these. Okay. The next thing is my favorite thing I've gotten all week. Um I've been wanting this for so long, and I finally got my hands on it. I've been watching it at Walgreens. It was like $14 there, and I was trying to save up my money. But I went to Target, and it was $9 there. Heck yes. I got the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. It's all over YouTube. Everyone loves it. Um, I can see why. This is my new Holy Grail foundation. I've only worn it once or twice. Um, that's all I need. My face stayed matte all day. My face stayed soft perfect color perfect texture um i stayed matte that is the biggest thing like i can could not find a foundation to save my life to keep my skin matte and i don't even have that oily of skin this is amazing like cover girl you've done something right because it is definitely worth the hype so i absolutely love it my color is an ivory if you were wondering okay so that's all i got from target for face products um now i'm going to talk about um, a few little body products that I got and I'm really excited to share them. First thing I got was the Soft Soap Body Butter Coconut Scrub. This is a huge container. It's bigger than my head. Um, that's why I like Soft Soap um, Body Scrubs. They are super, super, super affordable. Um, they have huge um, packaging like in containers. Um, I really like that. So I really like this. It smells really good. Yep, and it's really moisturizing and it is exfoliating. So I got that. And then I also got this little exfoliating brush. It was like five bucks. And the little brush head detaches from the thing. So you can use that separately. And the reason that I got these two things is because I bought my first self tanner ever. I got the L'Oreal Paris Body Expertise Sublime Bronze Tinted Self Tanning Lotion. I wanted to get the gel, but I don't think they make it anymore. I've heard pretty bad things about this. Some people like it, but um, on YouTube, a lot of people are frowning at this. But what did I do? Went for it anyway because it was cheap. Um, <sighs> mini review on this. It does an okay job from what I've seen results and are expecting. I had a swimming party last night, so I wanted to be kind of tan. This, do this does um, tend to go a little orange, if you can see the color. Like, right off the bat, you can just tell that it's kind of like an orangey brown. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of an orangey brown. Um, and it's full of glitter. That's the one thing I didn't like. It made the tan look really fake. Um, but how I did it is I washed my body, dried off. I applied one coat all over. Um, it is tinted, so you can see where you're putting it. And when I was done... I looked even, I looked one color, I was really happy with it. I woke up in the morning, washed off um, the color guard and the glitter. I had streaks all over, like, I I blended it in so well, like, I took the time. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to avoid streaking with this. So, this is not my favorite. But it was a good experience overall, I was happy with I was happy initially with my end result. I was tan, and the streaks weren't too bad. I got them to fade, but yeah. So, there we go. Done with Target. Um, then I went to Walgreens the other day, and I just got a couple of things. I got this little thing. It's like a beauty blender sponge. It was like $6. I think it was by Soho, New York. I don't remember. I just saw this, and I wanted to get it. Um... It's really, really stiff. Like, you have to push really hard to, like, blend it in, and I don't know. I'm not really happy with that. This tip works really well, but this flat tip is like... <laughs> but I have been using it. I don't know if I'm going to continue. I don't know if I really love it that much, but it's really stiff. That's the only thing i got to say about it. Next thing I got was um, my favorite liquid eyeliner ever, the Wet n' Wild H2O Proof Liquid Eyeliner. <clears throat> It was $4 at Walgreens, and this stuff is amazing. It stays put, it's black, and it's a sponge tip, and mine is running low, and so I thought I would get a backup. Yay! And then the last thing I got was some Studio 35 Beauty 100% Acetone Nail Polish Remover. I really like this stuff. It works a, lot bigger, blah, blah, works a lot better than regular nail polish remover, but you really have to cap it tight because it evaporates really fast, um, but I really like 
this and we needed some so that's what I got alright so that is all the stuff that I have bought in this past week um, and now I'm gonna talk about the presents that I've received um, the first few things are from my boyfriend and his family they got me some makeup which is a really really thoughtful and I am so happy because I love all the things that I got <clears throat> the first thing that they got me was this little lip gloss it's the Nivea kiss of shine pink glossy lip care but this smells really good it smells kind of fruity and it's very very moisturizing and it looks really pretty on so I'm really happy to have this I love moisturizing lip products like you would not believe because I have super dry lips um, <clears throat> next thing they got me, I love it so much. It is the e.l.f. Duo Eyeshadow Cream. I love eyeshadow bases. Like, I'm looking to try them all the time. Um, and these are really good quality. This is in Blueberry, but it's more of like a smoky eye. It's like a dark gray and a light gray. And they're kind of like a blue gray, I guess, like steel gray. They work really well. It's a nice thick consistency. It's not sheer, and it's not, like, oily. It feels really nice. Um... So I'm really excited to try this out. Next thing is an LA Colors eyeshadow palette in Glamorous. Um, I know LA Colors can be really sketchy and kind of hit and miss with their eyeshadows. Um, I've had several of their palettes in the past, wasn't thoroughly impressed. Um, I feel like the formulas ha are starting to get better. Um, these colors are pretty well pigmented, um, they're a little bit chalky. Um, some of them can be a little muddy, and um, like a lot of these neutrals, you can't really differentiate them. Here, let me hold it back further. Like a lot of these neutrals, you can't really differentiate them on your hand, but I'm sure with the primer, they would act really well. And like, they have a lot of pretty colors in here. There's lots of like red, browns, lots of metallics. They have a really nice white, and then a lilac shade, or a lavender shade, which I'm super, super excited to try because I love lavender. Um, so, I'm actually pretty impressed with this, and I know I'm going to um, use this, so I can never have enough eyeshadows to play with. And, oh yeah, and the last thing that I got from them for makeup is the Ellie Colors Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow. Um, and this is in Radiant. Um, I already have this color, but it's running out, and my packaging is breaking, and it's almost gone and it's my favorite one of all of them so how awesome that they got me a new one these are really inexpensive and these are amazing especially for a drugstore pigment oh my goodness these are so great especially if you use them wet you just want to um, use this like brush that they keep in the middle right here that's what this thing is you can use it as a plug and don't really use that brush because it'll get messy use your own brushes and mix it with water and it's a gorgeous payoff and Oh, I love these so, so much. So that is all I got from them, and I'm so thankful for all those things. Um, the next thing I got is from my friend, Megan, and she got me a couple of eye products. Um, she got me this Don't Steal My Thunder Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Trio. I love these trios. This is a gorgeous smoky eye trio. Um... It's got the perfect colors, you know, for a typical smoky eye. Light gray, dark gray, and white, and all of them are shimmery. Um, the dark gray is more sparkly than any of them. And, of course, these are amazing, like you would expect. Very nice buttery um, texture and great color payoff. And I'm really excited to try that with the e.l.f. Duo. I'm sure that's going to be fabulous. And then also she got me um, a Wet n Wild mega liner um, which is my favorite kind of eyeliner and it's in purple so that's really fun because I love to wear colored eyeliner not gonna lie I wear it all the time so that's fun to have a purple eyeliner and then she also got me mascara thank you so much because I really need to get a lot more mascaras to back myself up because I end up running out so fast and then I don't have money to go buy more and I'm using dry mascaras so I'm happy to have all these new mascaras that I can keep in their packaging and use them when I need them. So this is the Wet n Wild 5 times Volume. I've never, I don't think I've used this before. This is in very black. Yeah, and I'm really excited to try this. I'm sure I'll love it. Yay! Alright, um, so... The last thing that I got, this is from my mom, and this is a little sparkly wet n wild nail polish. How cool is this packaging? Like, it's the weirdest thing ever, though. <laughs> um, it kind of matches my shirt. It's like a 
kind of white gold with rainbow glitter in it. I'm wearing it on my nails, on the tips of them, if you can see. It's really pretty, and I love it, and I love nail polish. So, yes. All right, guys, so that's it for my haul. That's all the stuff that I've got this past week. I hope you liked this video, and I'm almost hitting my 100 subscribers mark, which is so exciting. Um, and I know I promised you guys a video at a or a giveaway at 100 subscribers. I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, but once I hit 100 subscribers, I'll definitely start planning my giveaway. So it might be a little bit after, but there's definitely going to be a giveaway sometime after I hit the 100 subscriber mark. So I'm really excited, and you can stay tuned um, for a hair tutorial going to be the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!